Since the opening of their first store inside a Seattle mall way back in 1978, Zoomies has become one of the largest skateboard retailers in the world. Currently, Zoomies has over 700 locations and sells hundreds of millions of dollars worth of products every single year. Given their growth and success, most would assume that Zoomies receives a lot of support from the skateboarding community, but that's really not the case. The truth is, the majority of skateboarders absolutely hate Zoomies and any store that's similar. This can come as a bit of a surprise to any non-skateboarders or people who are just new to skating. In this video, we're going to go over why skaters hate Zoomies. As always, if I left anything out, go ahead and leave it in the comments, do me a favor and leave a like on the video, check out the links in the description, and with that said, let's get right into it. Actually, before we do, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning or practicing new skills. It's good to always try to push yourself to learn new skills and develop your passions, and Skillshare is the perfect way to do that. They have classes on a ton of topics from photo and video to writing and cooking and even business and finance. One class specifically that I really like that I think a lot of you would like too is iPhone filmmaking by Caleb and Niles. Most skateboarders film iPhone edits for Instagram, myself included, and this class has a ton of useful tips and techniques that shows you how to improve your iPhone videos. Skillshare is all about learning and growth. There's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so there's always something new to discover. If you're interested in joining Skillshare and learning or developing new skills, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. The first and arguably the biggest reason why skaters hate Zoomies is because it's not skater owned and most of their employees don't even skate. All right, look, I've never skated a day in my life, okay? A company not being skater owned is heavily frowned upon in skateboarding and it's the main cause of most of the issues that skaters have with Zoomies. Despite being marketed as a skate shop, the majority of Zoomies employees don't actually skate and a surprising amount of them don't even understand the culture. And wax, my grab tape, and whatever other truck stuff I need. There might be a couple of them who can stand on a skateboard, and there may even be one that can somewhat ollie, but the majority of them couldn't tell you the difference between a kickflip and a heel flip. At first, this might not seem like a big deal because a person's hobbies don't matter for most jobs out there. However, when it comes to working at a skate shop, the person behind the counter needs to know what they're talking about. And you can, you can get some of the fastest wooden decks on the market or off. I mean, imagine going to a surf shop and trying to get advice on what board you should get and the person there doesn't even surf. The worst part is a lot of times beginners just assume the person working there does skate. So you end up with a beginner skater following skateboarding advice from someone who doesn't even skate. This means that when some 12 year old walks in to buy their very first skateboard, they're most likely getting advice from someone who has no idea what they're recommending. Yeah, I could do a kickflip. Skateboarding is incredibly nuanced and things like the size of your board, the diameter of your wheels, and the size of your trucks can all have a major impact on how you skate. At an actual core skate shop that's skater owned, you can almost guarantee that the people working there have been skating for most of their life and can actually give valuable insight on what they're selling and skateboarding is something that they genuinely care about. Of course I'm not a grip a board, are you kidding me? Like, what do you want, you want me to like? Like hug it or give it a high five or what kind of grip? This isn't to hate on Zoomies employees because I'm sure most of them are nice people who are just trying to work at a cool store. But if someone is going to work at a store that sells skate supplies, it's pretty crucial that they at least skate themselves. Reason number two why skaters don't like Zoomies is because they don't help the community. Skateboarding is unlike most other sports and activities. And because of that, skate shops are unlike most other stores. Aside from selling products, they also do a variety of other things that helps nurture the local skate scene. Some of these things include hosting video premieres, helping get new skate parks built, getting pro skate teams to do signings and demos, sponsoring local skateboarders, hosting skate contests, and providing a place for skaters to hang out. The main purpose of a core skate shop isn't to make money, but rather to help push the local skate scene forward. Zoomies on the other hand exists solely to make money and they do very little for the skateboarding community. 
Why is there a surfboard? We don't surf at Zoomies. We don't even skate here, bro. Now, it's not like Zoomies does nothing because in the past, they have sponsored contests, but they've been few and far between. And honestly, hosting a few contests isn't even the bare minimum. Unlike local core skate shops, Zoomies has no ongoing effort to help out the skateboarding community. For someone who doesn't skate, it might seem odd for people to expect a business to be that involved with their customers, but that level of involvement is what keeps a skate scene going. In the eyes of Zoomies, skateboarding is just an image that they use to sell products. If Zoomies thought they could make more money using the image of BMXers or wakeboarders or some other subculture, then they wouldn't hesitate to switch. Reason number three why skaters hate Zoomies is because they don't carry the brands that skaters want. The average Zoomies is significantly larger than the average local skate shop. This allows them to carry a large quantity of skateboarding supplies and apparel, but ironically, it's mostly brands that actual skateboarders don't wear. This isn't to say that every brand that Zoomies carries is disliked by skaters, but a big percentage of them are. Zoomies only carries larger brands that allow them to buy products in bulk, and they don't cater to the smaller skate companies that core skateboarders actually like. Since they're a large corporation, their goal is to buy from the largest companies possible so they can drive down costs with bulk purchases, but with small skate brands, that's not really an option. Not only that, but recently, Zoomies has started to carry more and more brands that aren't even skateboarding related. Not carrying good skate brands just goes to show that their target market isn't actual skateboarders, their target market is people who don't skate but want to dress like they do. Of course, there are exceptions to this, and it's not like every single person who buys something from Zoomies instantly becomes some poser, but if I had to guess, I'd say the majority of people who shop there aren't really skaters. The next reason why skaters hate Zoomies is because they sell out skate culture. Skateboarding is pretty much as underground as it gets. Over the years though, it's become increasingly mainstream, and companies like Zoomies have commoditized it for profit. Now it's hard to say for sure where the line is in terms of commoditizing something, but wherever it is, Zoomies definitely crossed it a long time ago. What people don't realize is that Zoomies is essentially a generic mall apparel store that's disguised as a skate shop. They don't actually cater to real skateboarders, and instead, they sell the image of what they think skateboarding is to people who don't actually skate. How do you do, fellow kids? What? Real skateboarders can see through the facade instantly, but non-skateboarders don't know any better, and for the most part, they don't really care. The people who shop at Zoomies are people who think skateboarding is cool, but don't actually skate themselves. They really just want to give off the vibe that they skate, and Zoomies is more than happy to sell it to them. The next reason why skaters hate Zoomies is because they put small skate shops out of business. The majority of skateboarding scenes are pretty small, and skate shops tend to make just enough revenue to keep the doors open. Even with the support of local skaters, most small skate shops often rely on new skaters or random foot traffic to stay open. When Izumis comes to town, they steal a lot of the local shop's business by undercutting their prices and marketing to parents who don't know any better. A lot of parents and kids who are just starting out don't realize how important it is to support their local skate shop, so when it comes time for them to buy their first board or do some holiday shopping, they often end up doing it at the mall just because it's easier. Unfortunately, that's a large portion of a local skate shop's customer base, and there's not much they can do to compete. In fact, there's been several situations where Zoomies opened up in towns just long enough to run the smaller local skate shops out of business before eventually closing down as well. To a big company, opening and closing a single location a couple years later is just the cost of doing business, but if a local skate shop closes, it can literally destroy a town's skate scene. If you aren't a skateboarder, or if you're new to skateboarding, it can be a bit confusing trying to figure out exactly why skaters hate Zoomies. From the outside looking in, Zoomies seems like a cool store inside of malls that young people like to shop at. They have couches and video games set up, they play skate videos on TVs, and they at least somewhat resemble a skate shop. The thing is, that's all part of an image that they've carefully put together to try to sell to people who don't know any better. The real reasons why skaters hate Zoomies are the same reasons why they hate Tilly's and PacSun and every other corporation trying to get into skateboarding. These companies aren't skater owned, they don't understand the culture, and they don't actually care about skating. I have no idea. No idea? You work here? Yeah. This is uh, Tony Hawk. 
Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, come on. You work at the skate shop. I know. Unfortunately, Zoomies is just another large corporation trying to capitalize on skateboarding without actually helping the community. There's definitely certain things in skateboarding that get unnecessary backlash, but when it comes to Zoomies, I feel like it's pretty justified. This is a topic of debate in skateboarding though, and I'm sure not all skaters agree on it, so definitely leave your thoughts in the comments. Do me a favor and leave a like on the video. Check out the links in the description. And with that said, thanks for watching.